Exmoor Unplugged is a project that's bringing electric bicycles to Exmoor and the Quantocks um, so that tourists, visitors and residents can get on their bikes and just have some fun. And I've got to admit, I live on the edge of Exmoor, but edge being the difficult part because it's put me off cycling because you've just got to have the energy to get up those hills. Yes, indeed. And unless you're a really serious cyclist around here, you just nobody, nobody in their right mind would want to, to go out with electric bikes. It, that's tackled. The batteries kick in as you're going up the hill, so as the steeper the hill gets, the, the more the bike helps you, and you whiz on up, and it's great fun. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Now, you're trialling them at the moment. Just to explain how you sort of picked where they would go, because I know you've got a couple here in Nether Stowey and also some in Dunster as well. They also um, come from places where there are lots of other accommodation providers and pubs and attractions around, so they're, they're in places where, where there will be a lot of visitors um, and residents who will be interested in hiring the bike. So, um, Ian, you own the guest house here in, in Nether Stowey. Is this an added attraction almost for your guest house? Oh, I think so. I think anything that gets people out of the Quantocks um, is a good thing. We get lots of walkers here as it is, um, and um, the bikes are definitely a, a good add-on. Who do you think they're going to appeal to? I don't think they're going to appeal to those people that want to go careering downhill in the Quantocks on mountain bikes. What they really, really are aimed at is those people who would often go walking in the Quantox but want to go a little bit further afield. Well, I think the best way for me to find out is to give it a go. Is that okay? Right, well, let's get some hats on okay. and uh, we'll go out. Yeah. Do you want to sit on that one there? That's probably something easier, that one. Okay. Now, they do look like normal bikes, really, don't they, apart from the small battery pack? I think they're very, pretty, slightly more robust, but uh, ultimately they are, they are normal, ordinary bikes. Brilliant. Off we go, then. Right. Off we go into another stoey. Right, in which okay, way can we, we go? Okay, we'll just turn you on. Right, the meter's showing that there's power there. There are three levels of assistance, low, medium and high. And there are six, very, very simple, six gears here. And use that button there to go up gears. This bike has also got a little boost. Ready? <laughs> I just jumped me forward. <laughs> So when you're, when you're starting off, you can use the little boost and that will get you kicked off. Okay. So what I'm going to do is push, put you onto medium so you can feel how it is. Okay. And we're going to go up this hill here because we live in a hilly area. Yep. So we're going to go Let's uphill straight it. away. Brilliant. So we're now going up quite a steep hill. And I've got to admit, it's still quite hard work, but much less hard work than it would be. Whew. So, Ian, you do still feel like... You're putting in hard work, but it also is quite deceptive. It makes you almost feel fitter than you are. Um, I think it is. As you come out of the stay, you, you hit a steep hill. That's what we're just going up at the moment. And so it's not, not necessarily an easy ride. It's just easier. But uh, let's continue up this hill and see what happens. Right. You can at points just hear the battery kicking in. And you do get to appreciate the beautiful views on the tops of the hills as well. Uh, yes, and it does. The real advantage is that you can see so much more of the Quantox. And if you're walking, then in a day you can walk over to the side and walk back again. That's fine. With a bike, you can, you can see a lot of the Quantox. Having said that, of course, we've got a little bit of the levels <laughs> to the uh, north of Nether Stowey. So uh, there's some lovely flat, flat areas there. Oh, so Ian, I thoroughly enjoyed that. And I know um, you've been doing quite a few journeys on it. It really is great fun, isn't it? It's exhilarating. It really is. And I'm not a cyclist. I'm a walker. And um, at, after, a, after 10 or 20 miles, you really do feel good.